G'day, welcome to Marty's Beer Show. Right, take the hard work out of drinking beer so you can just enjoy it. <coughs> uh, today we're looking at low carb beers. Now, uh, these have been touted as the healthy, healthier alternative to a lot of other beers um, due to their low carb content. Um, so, you know, if you're on a diet or health kick or whatever, but really a lot of it's all marketing. Um, they may have lower carbs or whatever, but they're still got, you know, still beery and stuff. So, but if you're taking health advice from a dude who films himself drinking beer, that's, that's a whole another ball game. But anyways, um, starting today's events off, Summer Bright Lager, made by 4X. Uh, it's a full strength, low carb beer. Um, this is, so these are the four lowest, anyway, low carb beer that I find, lowest carb count. I've done my research, this comes in at 2.7 grams of cardboards. Right, so let's uh, dig in. Now, off the bat, looks pretty cool, looks very summery, hence the name. That's where it came from. Uh, well, that's when it came from. That's no, when it's meant to. It's meant to be drunk. Don't drink it in winter. At all. Look at that. Bloody beautiful. Nice froth. Looks clear. Let's uh. That's good. That is good. That is um. That's fresh. That's light, that's refreshing, that smells good. It tastes good. It has a bit of a beery taste. It doesn't hang around for too long, just gets it done. That's, that's brilliant. That's a, that's a really good beer. Um, it's 4.2%, so it's you know full strength, just a maybe a little slight a bit lower, 1.1 standard drinks. Um, that's a good, su surprising. Um, let's, uh, now it's a bit lighter. I can afford to do the scalability scale today, so let's, uh, yeah. You could do that. If you're on a health kick, skull one of them as much as possible. Um, righto. Next. Steersman Blonde Premium Low Carb Lager. Uh, never really seen this. I don't know if it's new or what. Um, uh, so this is the next one. It's 2.6 grams. So it's a it's fraction less from the other one. Uh, still 4.2%. Um, yep. Blah blah blah. Don't drink if you're pregnant still, so that's good. Um, ooh, that's got that more beer like smell, uh, which is, I've noticed that a lot with um, most of the beers I do, so in the right frame. A um, little less froth. Uh, but it's the right colour, which is beer. Um, what's uh, yeah, it's got that beery smell, but it's a lot. Oh, it's a lot different to that. It's um, it's it's smooth. It's not quite as um. Hold on, what's this uh? Yeah, it's a, maybe. Maybe a bit thicker tasting, a bit fuller, um, smoother. Uh, it's refreshing. It's um, it's not too sweet. Um, but that's, yeah, that's pretty good. I've never heard much about it or any at all. I um, uh, don't know where it's come from, but I'll probably find out. Pinnacle drinks in Surrey Hills. So pretty pretty trendy stuff. Probably where you felt hot when you drink this one. Uh, 
Well, I like that. I like that. Easy to drink. Um, pretty light, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's just not, not as fizzy, but let's just give it a bit of a uh, down the hatch test, scalability scale, so I've spelt, right? Anyways. Yeah, that's uh, that would work, but don't take my word for it. Um, pretty good, Steerman, Steersman's Blonde Premium Low Carb Lager. Right, eh? Next one, we've got Pure Blonde Ultra Low Carb Lager. So it's another uh, one of Pure Blonde's. Um, Efforts in making beer. Uh, this drops down to 1.7 grams of carbs, so one whole carb less than these guys ish. Um, um, yep, carbs are made from things, various things. Uh, not a scientist, but yeah, this has less of them. Um, I don't know if you, they charge you less, maybe. Or charge you more sometimes. Um, less is more. Now that looks, uh, that looks incredibly beer like. Bit of a froth, a couple of bubbles, hanging out. Oh, it's less, um, less beery smell than this guy. So that's good. But taste wise, Mm. Not much going on there, sorry. That's um that's a uh, low carb, low taste. It says full flavour, but oh, I don't know about that. Um Yeah. It's got fifty percent less calories than wine. So there you go, but it just doesn't do anything. It um, doesn't have an overly beery taste, kind of just, just, just disappears. Yeah, it's a bit, um, if you, if you weren't a huge beer fan and you were trying to fit into your gold jeans, maybe that could, that's what you might drink, but I don't know, that's not really doing much, but let's, uh, Scalable silver. That's just like sculling water. Now that would win a lot of sculling scales, but it just doesn't taste like much. It's still, uh, uh how strong is it? 4.2%, so it's still full strength beer, just not much going on. Uh, yeah, pure blonde. Yep, take it or leave it. Now, the winner in the carb stakes is this local drop, Burley Big Head No Carb Lager. Coming in at 0, 0.0, so that's, that wins that. Um, well, you can't open it all that way, so let's try it out that way. Yeah, that's good, that definitely helps. Um, Pretty cool looking uh, bottles. A picture of a guy with a big head on it. Uh, no carb, so yeah, it, they so that they change up the brewing process a bit with the, the no carb. It's sort of like uh, um, just a few little things, sugar wise. Yeah, I'm not a brewer. No idea what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah. That looks pretty cool. It's pretty bubbly. Got a bit of froth going to it. Uh, smells pretty good. Smells pretty good. Um, mm, that's good. That's um. Um. That's got a lot more. A lot more interesting taste. That's um. It doesn't have, doesn't feel like it's lacking anything. Like whereas these, 
you're taking away stuff, you're taking away some flavour. That's got that's a, a much more of a fuller, a full flavour. It um, it doesn't like it's refreshing. It's definitely refreshing. It's not quite as light tasting. It's um, a bit of a drier taste. It's not sweet. Um, it's very smooth. The taste sticks around for a bit, but it's um, it's good. It's a bit more complex. Um, it's got a bit more taste going for it. That's that's pretty good. I shouldn't act surprised. I've, I've had these a few times before, actually. Anyways, uh, but scalability scale. That's, oh, that's good. That is a, that's an all-rounder. Um, cool. And that is low-carb beers. So these are the four uh, lowest-carb beers I could find. There's plenty more low-carb beers. There's probably better ones. There's probably not as good ones, but this is what I found. This is what I did. Um, righto. So the winner... I think by a country mile is Big Head. Burley Big Head no carb lager wins the low carb. I was going to win anyway because it was no carb. It's um, it doesn't. It just tastes like a normal beer. It doesn't feel like you watered it down. It doesn't feel like it's lacking anything. It's got no carb, no sugar. It's it's pretty good. Um, it does run in a little bit more expensive than these beers, um, but it's also not a major brewery, so it's a bit of a smaller brewery, so um, actually quite local to where I am. Um, so, but okay, that's that's a good job. Burley Big Head Brewery. No carb lager. Get it, India. And cool. Thanks for watching Marty's Beer Show. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, do that, and leave a comment if you would like me to drink a beer that you've mentioned, or mention it, and then I'll drink that beer, and you can say, hey, I just told him to do that one, but um, cool, thanks for watching, and uh, there you go. Beer.